Hello my beautiful souls, this is Musika Vlad Guardian and today I'm doing a message from your divine counterpart reading. So let's see what your divine counterpart has for you today, starting with their headspace. So messages from their headspace from your divine counterpart. This is a general reading, so please take what resonates, leave the rest. If this is not your story, that's not your story and that's alright. So, message from the divine counterpart on their headspace. What do they have to say from their headspace today? If you're interested in this reading, it is available in my shop. Visit my website. All the information you need is in the description box below. One more spirit, please. Thank you. So, what do we have here? I feel safer in the silence. So, your person might uh, have no communication with you. They might not want to have any communication with you right now. You might have reached out. They might not have answered. They might have blocked you on everything. They just feel safer in the silence right now. They have a lot going on in their head. I feel I feel like it's a bit heavy, a bit clouded. And they just, you know, have a lot on their plate, a lot of their mind. They're thinking about the things that they've said and done in the past. And right now they're like, you know what? I don't want to say anything. I don't want to do anything. Because I don't want to mess anything up any further. I've already done enough damage. I just want to sit here in the silence and just, you know not to dig my hole any deeper than it needs to be we have her is it possible to forgive and forget and we got this last week as well they're really like holding on to that thing the thing that they need to have raised that's why perhaps they're silent because they're like this thing like for some of you it is so damaging it was so painful it was such you know it's, it's all a, a big deal but it's like this this thing is just like they just need to erase it. They want to black it out because they're just like, you know what? I don't want this. I don't know why I did this. I don't know why I said this. I just, I just need it to disappear. Will you just forgive me and forget about this and never bring it up again? This is why they feel safer in the silence because this thing, this thing they're seeking forgiveness for two weeks now, we've had it. They're wanting to you to forgive something. Forgive how they treated you. I feel badly for the way that I treated you. You didn't deserve that. No, you didn't. Nobody deserves that. But you really didn't deserve to be treated that way and spoken to that way. What they said and did was beyond effed up. And they know that that shit they did was like, it's, it's, that's why they're like, you know, is it possible to forgive and forget? Because as effed up as it was, I just want to perhaps come back, apologize. Perhaps have some kind of hope or possibility to move forward, to move to something new. But this thing sits there as, as an elephant in the room. As that one thing that he, they need to, to um, deal with. But they're afraid to because they're afraid that there is no coming back from that. They're afraid that you will just never forgive them for it. Or even if you do forgive them for it, you won't forget it. You'll keep bringing it up. And I feel like some of them are not healed enough to be able to handle that. To handle having that thrown in their faces. They're just too... Um, they're not emotionally strong enough for that. To take full accountability and um, have like that proper conversation that needs to happen when it comes to this thing. Okay, messages from the heart space. What do they have to say from the truth of their heart? Heart space messages.
I actually meant a sensible, intelligent, and wonderful person. Then I let them go. Then they let them go because they treated them badly. And they said things they shouldn't have. They know in their heart space that they, you, you, you were their person. You were the person that they manifested. The person that they called out to the universe that they wanted. And they delivered you. And then they let you go. They let you go. and no, they didn't. And I feel like the, the biggest thing they did here was that they let you go. And they treated you badly. But they didn't. Once they realized their mistake, once they let you go, they didn't turn around fast enough to apologize, to get you back, to, you know, do all those things and let too much time pass. Um, but that's for some of you. What else? They might have had a chance at forgiving and forgetting if they had acted quicker. It has always been you. So in the heart space, they're like, it's always been you. Since the day we met, it has always been you. Will always be you. But yes, I effed up. And I did what I did and I said what I said. Now I'm having to go through some stuff in order for me to find a way back. Find a way back where you can perhaps someday forgive me and let this go. What else do we have? My darkest days are behind me. This could be related to the reading I did yesterday. So if you haven't seen it, go to my YouTube and check out. Check it out. But my darkest days are behind me. They have gone through the shadow work. They've gone they've been healing and growing and learning and transforming. And they know that they need to to come forward with an apology come forward with an explanation come forward with um it'll be different for for, for um the people watching this but they need to come forward with something they have learned something on this healing journey that they're on and they need to um they know that they need to express themselves to you in a way where um they can be understood that's why right now they're like in my headspace they're like I'm safer in the silence. And it's going to be quiet now until I learn how to vocalize my words. Speaking of which, let's look at unspoken words here. Unspoken words from the material world. Things that they want to say to you. That they can perhaps find the strength or courage to say. This could be because they haven't found their voice yet. Or just you know whatever reason they just can't say this to you so this is what they want you to know I wish they could just say to you where do i begin they don't know where to begin to start explaining all this to you how to start asking your forgiveness how to Start expressing their emotions, expressing their love for you, expressing to you, you know, that it's always been you. it always be you. They don't know how to, they don't know where to begin when it comes to all of this. I needed to heal. They needed to step away to heal because whatever energy led them to this, which was like their fears, their doubts, limiting beliefs, led them to treating you this way, was because they needed to heal. They were damaged. But the darkest days are behind them now. They have healed now. And they can now also better try to uh, draw up a plan or something to where they begin. We also have here, if I let you in, will you stay? They still have, they still carry a bit of fear. They fear that you're going to reject them. They fear that they're going to open up, let you in, pour all of this out to you for you to just turn around and walk away. They they are having they still having doubts that you wouldn't forgive them, you wouldn't stay if you if they let you in. But also have here like let's get it on, let's just get it on, let's just, you know perhaps, throw ourselves in head first, and see what happens. We we'll allow nature and the ebb flow of the universe to just lead us and guide us to where you guys begin. 
where they begin. Not only is it their energy, that the, the energy of you that they're missing, your essence, your mind, body and soul, your physical body as well. So guys, that is today's reading. Thank you so much for watching. Again, if you're interested in this reading, you can find it on my website. Just go to the description box below. There's a link there straight to this reading. Please like, comment, subscribe, share if you feel so inclined. And I'll see you guys next time. Thank you so much. Bye.